right, hello everyone. Um, I decided to go ahead and do a 2019 trailer setup video. So this is all the equipment that I have to work with uh, this coming season. So without further ado, And here we have it. This is everything. So, first of all, we have the Craftsman DYT 4000 riding mower with the bagger. That's what I mainly use for uh, leaf pickups, and it's kind of like a, a backup too for me. And then we've got the Husqvarna Zero Turn Z246, 46 inch cut, and it has a Briggs & Stratton 20 horsepower engine. Um, I did some uh, modifications to it. I added these arm rests on, and I added the LED light, which the headlight is actually pretty good. You can use that when it's totally dark outside and it works fine and we'll move on here to the trailer which is a carry-on trailer uh, 6x12 and got two new gas cans here these are the no spill kind two and a half gallon and the five gallon and the weed eaters, I've got a, these are all Echoes. The top one is an Echo PAS 225, and it's a combo, so you can add attachments to it. So I've got the edger on here now. And this is the SRM 225. This one I've had for probably about three years. Uh, this is a totally awesome weed eater. Uh, it's lightweight, no problems. Uh, I haven't had any, any issues at all with it. It's really good. And this is another SRM225 um, that I picked up, believe it or not, at the pawn shop uh, for like 50 bucks. Um, it ran and everything, but I had to install a new um, head on it. A new speed feed head and I had to put a new primer bulb on it and that was it runs perfect so that was a good investment um, and speaking of speed feed heads these speed feed 400 heads uh, you can get them on eBay for 25 bucks 30 on Amazon they're like the best I don't know if, why anybody would use anything else. Um, they're just so fast to like load and all. Um, so anyway, and this is the attachment head to go on the S the, on the um, PAS two two five. It's just a, a heat eater head. And then I've got the Still FS fifty six RC. That one's pretty good. Um, it vibrates a little bit, um, but it runs fine. It's kind of like my backup, really. Um, and then over here, we've got a pole hedger, Black & Decker, battery operated, 20 volt. This thing is really nice. It lasts a long time. Had no issues with it. Um, and this is my hedger, the cobalt. Um, this cobalt series is really nice. Um, plus, it's got a five year uh, warranty on it, so you know, it's you can't pass that up. Um, and that, hit, that has done well, it lasts a long time. Um, I can do probably 20 hedges with this thing on a charge. I mean, it's it's really nice. Uh, then for the blowers, we got a steel um, BG BG 50, 55, 56. 
or 55. Um, I've had this one a long time too. I got this for a pretty good deal, um, but it works fine. Um, then I decided to go ahead and get the Cobalt 40 volt blower. Uh, the charge doesn't last very long, but it's pretty powerful. I think it's like 100 miles per hour it'll do. So it's held up fine for me. If you wanna do something like light duty, you know, like your own house kind of thing, um, that's, it's really good for that. Then we've got the Husqvarna HU700H self-propelled um, all-wheel drive mower. Um, this is really nice. It's held up. I got a sweet deal on that too. And this one's fine. Runs fine. Had no issues with it. Um, I just keep that one just in case because I think I've got two properties that I have to do use this one um, so and then we've got the uh, backpack blower the Husqvarna 150 BT this thing will do 250 miles per hour and it is really really nice um, and this thing is held up I've had no issues with this too and I've had this uh, a couple years at least I know two years um, so um the racks i got these racks for the heat eaters on uh amazon i don't remember the brand name but i th i'm thinking it wasn't but like 65 dollars or something um and that's a pretty good deal um uh, locks and then i bolted them down screwed them into the side too um this is a buyer's rack right here for this that I installed and then I added on these springs here this was a good investment uh, maybe 50 bucks total in parts for the two springs garage door springs is what they are and you can just hook them up and then that tailgate comes down nice and easily um, with like one hand uh, and then I've got my sign back here um, I added that also and I guess that's about it so this is uh, this is everything that I've got to work with now and it's being pulled by my 2008 Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer that's super nice too um, all right I just like to say uh, thank you for watching this video um, if you have any comments or concerns or anything you want to ask you know just uh, let me know and I'll answer them um, let me know what y'all have and uh, like this and subscribe and keep on mowing see you next time